Hello everyone, Marco Polo and one I know here. And today I am going to show you various different ways. I have five different ways here of sending a redstone pulse a long distance. Now, what I have here is, as I said before, five different ways of doing it. These are the five ways that I know how. I'm sure there are a few more, but I haven't got them here. Now, these first two are the most basic ones. We have the first one, which is just redstone going to a block with a torch, going to another block with another torch, and just like that, keep on going. And then it'll go to the end here, and it'll hit here. So if I show you, when this torch goes off, this torch will go on, and it'll likewise. So if I come here and click this lever, a little, a couple seconds later, over there will turn on. Now this is alright if you don't want to use that much stuff like pistons or anything else but it does have a considerable bit of time delay to get there as you can see after clicking the lever oh, laggy now if I click the lever again you will see that it takes a little second to get there. Now if I show you to the next one what we have here is if I basically repeaters so instead of having to have a little torch to change it we just have a repeater and it is a little bit slower just a little bit compared to this one so if we hooked up here say like that you can see it when we turn it on this one it's a tiny bit slower so now I will show you to the first third one now this one here is using the um, tripwire from the newest snapshot this is the newest snapshot so it's not in the It'll be in Minecraft update zero uh two three version three I think it is, and what this is is basically this boat will hit the string, which will go along, and then turn this piston on, which will turn this boat to hit the string, and it will go along and hit this. Now this is my favorite out of them all because it uses the basically the least amount of resources if you only use string compared to redstone which is much less cost to get from just spiders and the only bad thing is it uses um, pistons you can either use glass or glowstone here but you have to use a block like that glass or glowstone and just the tripwire mechanism by itself so when we turn this one on it's much quicker you'll see it goes on basically just as I click the lever and when I turn it off there's a little bit of lag and so if I were to show you them all together these three just like this you'll see that this third one is much quicker they not go to this one than that one so bam just like that and then the last one to turn off because it has to wait for the boats as you'll see it has to wait for the boat to drop down from this one to drop down to that one now the fourth design I have is everyone knows this one it's kinda well personally not everyone knows it but it's quite well known and what it is is it's going with the same design with the um, torches but instead of having them turn on and off we're having a piston push a block over them which will update the redstone line and if you see what happens is the first piston will turn on then the second one then the third one and that occurs when say I'll push this one so this will turn on then it will turn this redstone on which will push this one 
turn that redstone on like that and that's the fourth design and the final design is something made by cube hamster I'll put the link in the description to his video or channel and what these are are pistonless bud switches which is made by someone else other than him but he was the one to think of this and put it into an idea into a redstone pulse well not pulse but redstone line and these are affected by the um, direction that they're placed in so they have to be placed on F2 or 4 aiming that way and what this is is this glowstone block is the one that gets um, this glowstone block is the one that gets updated so if I placed a block here you will see that it updates everything and goes along so this is a very quick one as well just like that it's probably one of the best ones other than the tripwire because of the fact that it the when it turns off the delay is very small and basically these are just set up in a line like this and then at the end here what I have is a little piston with a block and when you update it it'll push out and it's a sticky piston so it'll push out but it pushes out so quickly and pulls in that the block stays there and that turns on and then click it again and it turns off so these are five different ways of doing a redstone line I'd say one of the best is this one right here you can go for infinite distances but for the tripwire the string can only be 40 blocks long then you have to have these tripwire mechanisms and do it again with this little device right here now these ones are the basically the easiest to do if you don't really understand redstone and tripwires and stuff like that but they have a delay considerably this one is very good for no, no delay at all except for waiting for this piston to push up for the turning it on but turning off there is considerable delay then we have this one right here with the pistons and as I showed you there is a tiny bit of delay turning on but hardly any delay turning off as I will show you right here then this one is the best for turning on and off with hardly any delay at all but this one is basically one of the best resource efficiency efficient ones as it doesn't use hardly any redstone and it looks quite invisible which is good so hope you learned something today everyone and thank you for watching so have a nice day Marco Polo over and out Thank <laughs> you.